Boo. Hi, YouTube. It's me. I'm just sitting in my room and salvaging the rest of what we have left of fall as my parents are already downstairs decorating for Christmas. So, I'm still very heartbroken over the hurricane. Maybe not so for very much the obvious reasons, but for my own personal reason, I love Halloween. I love monsters and makeup and costumes, and it's just so much fun, and I was so sad I didn't get to do it this year. So, let's make this video all about monsters! Yay! Okay, so, here we I'm going to put in a few different clips of, of different things relating to monsters. Might be music, might be drawings, might be well, makeup, as you can see. So here's one monster thing. And let's get started. <sighs> okay, now that I have spent 30 minutes in the bathroom washing all the gunk off my face and have turned the light on so you can actually see me, it is time for part two of our Monster Spectacular. Which means it is time for dun 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 drawings! Yay! So here are some monsters that I quick drew up as my face was drawing. And we got this little slug that kind of looks like a raccoon with the mask. We have a little green alien girl with a, a ponytail and then pink sparkles with the hairband. This one kind of reminds me of that little one from Yu-Gi-Oh! The uh, Little Monster. Uh, Karibu, I think it was called. Anyone else? Maybe I'm losing it. And then this one is a poor replica of Blue from Foster's Home with Imaginary Friends. I originally wasn't going to put him on here, but I was talking to my dad about this and he said that I should. So, I followed my dad's advice and put Blue on my monster page. Which concludes... Phase two of the Monster Spectacular. I will see you all soon for phase three. Hello all. Phase three of the Monster Spectacular is about to begin with songs about monsters. I made this nifty little list here. Don't worry, they all aren't all different songs. It's just a lot of commentary and stuff. Alright, so... Some newer songs that all of you might know are the new one from the Disney Channel, which is called Calling on the Monsters by China and McLean. It's kind of catchy. A child song, but still catchy. Um, two rockish songs would be Monster by Paramore in, in the same name, Monster by Skillet, and then another one called Monsters by this kid named Robert Borden, which Ashley showed me too. It's like... Really good song, by the way. Kind of folky. He has ukulele. It's really cute. Um, like in, and other older ones include number four, of course, Thriller by Michael Jackson, which I really hope you all have heard of. Uh, equally well known is Monster Mash by... Bobby Pickett, and on a side note, am I the only one who didn't know the name of the guy that did that song? I mean, obviously I knew he had an artist, because songs would just pop up out of thin air, but, like, I never knew that the guy actually had a name. Is that bad? Maybe? Yes? Okay. So anyway... Another classic is This is Halloween from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. You can always go with the original or you can go with the Panic of the Disco version or the Marilyn Manson version. Both are equally good. You do whatever you want with those. Um, another one would be Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. Another one that my dad recommended. I, I gotta stop asking him about videos. Um, and any horror movie theme song is a safe bet, especially if that movie is Halloween or Psycho. If you haven't watched either of those, go watch them right now because they are really good. Alright, which concludes part three 
of the Monster Spectacular, and I shall see you all soon, okay? Okay, so now it is time for the fourth and final part of our Monster Spectacular, which basically has to do with how popular monsters are in real life. Or, well, not so real life, depending on your point of view. Um, like, whether it be just the name, like Monster Energy Drinks, or, like, actual monsters, whether they be cute, or horrifyingly scary. <laughs> Supernatural. So anyway, like, TV, like, if you've ever seen the show, Ah, Real Monsters from, like, the 90s, or, well, again, Supernatural, um, or read a book, like, Harry Potter, or Twilight, or anything having to do with ogres and vampires and witches and magic and all that stuff that's monsters I guess um, movies or like clothes bring back the t-shirt anything like that and monsters are very prevalent in the world and everybody knows what a monster is maybe we all have our different ideas of what a monster is but one thing we can all agree on is the basic standard for a monster is like a vampire or a witch or a zombie or anything you've ever had a nightmare before about in your life. For me, it might be like giant spiders or something. More Harry Potter references. Alright, <laughs> so the, this concludes part four and our final um, part of our monster spectacular here. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to get back to everybody soon. And don't worry, I will be coming out with new covers. I promise. I love you guys. Please keep watching. Have a good night. Okay, just as a quick side note here, like, yes, this is for a contest, as the title says, and as much as I would like to win, like, I'm not really planning on winning, I just want to make a new friend, and you, Ashley Dearest, said that you are looking for new friends too, so be friends with me, maybe. Thank you, bye-bye, have a nice night.